This is a demonstration on how to repair a Mark 66 air-loaded pressure regulator. You will receive a kit from Jordan Valve that will have a diaphragm and a set of seats, consisting of the plate, the disc, and the disc guide. These are the tools you will need. It is helpful to have a copy of the Mark 66 installation and maintenance manual nearby for reference. This is available on the Jordan Valve website. Please familiarize yourself with the component names mentioned in this video. Seat Replacement Now that we have gathered the necessary materials, we will disassemble the valve. We will start with the disc assembly changeout, which includes the disc, the plate, and the disc guide. Make note of the V stamps on the valve body and cap. These should always be aligned. When the valve is secure in the vise, remove the cap bolts and nuts with a wrench. Lift the cap straight up. Remove the disc guide, the disc, and the index pin. You can remove the plate by sticking something in the index pin hole. It is imperative that the disc pin assembly disc pin, stem, and lock nut is not rotated when disassembling, cleaning, or reassembling since this will affect the stroke adjustment of the valve. If you are only performing a seat replacement, proceed with the reassembly. If you are doing a full repair, skip to diaphragm replacement. Apply a thin layer of Loctite silver grade and to seize around the edge of the plate. Place the plate back into the body with the lapped surface facing the cap. The index pin hole should be on the same side as the V on the body. Align the disc pin so that it is centered in the body bore and protrudes through the center slot in the plate. Place the disc on the plate, engaging the disc pin. The arrow on the disc should point to the index pin hole. Insert the index pin in the hole. Apply a thin layer of antices around the edge of the disc guide and place the disc guide onto the plate, engaging the index pin. Align the V on the cap with the V on the body, and place the cap over the two studs in the body. Install the nuts and cap bolts. Hand tighten and cross torque the body bolts to 200 inch pounds. If you are performing a diaphragm replacement, you must follow the steps listed in stroke adjustment as well. With a half inch socket impact wrench, remove the bolts from the upper diaphragm case and lift it off. Be sure to replace all of your bolts. Remove the diaphragm assembly by rotating counterclockwise. The diaphragm assembly consists of the upper diaphragm plate, diaphragm, and lower diaphragm plate. Secure the upper diaphragm plate in the vise. Use the spanner wrench to remove the lower diaphragm plate from the assembly. Remove the diaphragm and replace with the new one in reverse order. Apply one drop of Loctite 290 to the threads of the lower diaphragm plate. Thread the parts together and tighten 1 8 to 1 4 inch turn. Stem and Disc Pin Replacement Remove the disc assembly following the same procedure from the seat changeout demonstration. Make sure the diaphragm is also removed. Use a half inch wrench and a 7 16 inch wrench to loosen the stem lock nut. The stem can now be unscrewed from the disc pin and the lock nut removed from the stem. Remove the stem upward through the diaphragm area and the disc pin through the body orifice. Make sure your disc pin is straight and not bent. If it is bent, you will not make rangeability and will have to order a separate repair kit. Reassemble in reverse order. Insert the disc pin into the body orifice and then insert the stem through the diaphragm area. Add the lock nut onto the stem and bury the stem into the disc pin until it can go no further. Take your half inch wrench and your 7 16 inch wrench and lock the stem and disc pin back into place. Stroke Adjustment 
Hold the disc pen and place the diaphragm assembly back onto the stem and turn clockwise until the disc pen is centered in the body. Reassemble the disc assembly following the same procedure from the previous seat changeout demonstration. Push the diaphragm assembly down against the body and check the orifice alignment of the disc and the plate. The orifices should be fully open and in perfect alignment. If the orifices are not in perfect alignment, rotate the diaphragm assembly counterclockwise to lower the disc and clockwise to raise the disc. After the seats are in alignment, apply anti-seize to the disc guide and place the cap back on the body. Tighten the bolts and torque to 200 inch pounds. Replace the upper diaphragm case, making certain it is centered with the diaphragm in the body recess. Tighten the bolts and cross torque to 200 inch pounds using a half inch socket. Now your Mark 66 pressure regulator maintenance is complete. If you have any further questions, please refer to the contact information listed here. You can also visit our website at www.jordanvalve.com for more information on this and other products. Thanks again for watching.